Shabbat Shalom and Purim Sameach. So here's an interesting insight of October the 7th together with Purim. So Purim was a really, really difficult time for the Jewish people. And at the time, um, the outcome was that Haman and his 10 sons were hung. Now, let's talk a little history. King Saul was supposed to wipe out the entire nation of Amalek, and he did not. Haman is called Haman HaAgagi because he is an offspring of the King Agag of Amalek. Hence, interestingly, if you look at this, because we didn't do what we were supposed to do the first time, we had another opportunity, unfortunately a painful one, and this time we did what we were supposed to. Just a little bit of an insight to October 7th. We should have annihilated those who are sworn and continuously do terrorist acts against our people. We didn't. October 7th happened. It's a, it's a painful, really sad thing. But let us at least utilize this. And my friends, I want to say clearly, it's not enough bring them home. It's just not enough. We need to make sure that we annihilate those who are sworn to once again do the same thing. So we need both. We need to bring back our hostages and we need to have Haman and his 10 sons once and for all removed from being a danger, a consistent danger and catastrophe for our people. Shabbat Shalom and Happy Purim.